everybody doing today? My name is Steven Rosenberg and this is Gene Ginsberg. Welcome to Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. Today we have a really exciting episode about pros and cons. Gene, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Thank you very much, Steven. Always good to hear from you and always great to do the show with you. Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of display advertising or banner ads also as they're known. And uh, I can I can start off there because I've actually done Please. Um, have been involved with banner ads for a long time. Not so much now, but before. So as a lot of us know, really how the internet started when when the internet started. You know, banner ads really was the first type of advertising out there. And and it, just to kind of take a back, step back, banner ads are the ones that you see. Like if you go to HuffingtonPost.com, you'll see a, a, an ad on let's say on the top or like an on the right owns, hand side or on the what's that? Who owns who owns the Huffington Post now? Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, going back to banner ads. Um, so yeah, so the, those are the ads that you see, you know, when you're on, let's say, Huffington Post or CNN.com or any other website. And as I was saying, really the banner ads kind of started off as an advertising channel when the internet really first started about 20 years ago. And they were very successful back in the beginning. But as we know, um, marketing channels as always you know have their heyday but then they they kind of start to decrease in performance and so I feel like now banner advertising is really on the uh, outgoing method or I guess outgoing way of where it is in terms of the 100%. overall advertising what's that it's gone it's gone I, no I it's mean it is I don't want to say out. it's I don't want to say it's gone, but it is very much on its way well, out um, compared yes. to all of the other new flat very platforms much. like Facebook and Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram really much on, on their way out. And, and I, as a lot of you know, we follow Gary Vaynerchuk um, and he talks a lot about that as well. And I really agree with him quite a bit is that you know he's saying nobody's really looking at your banner ad. Although on the other hand, um, a lot of advertising agencies and advertisers in general are still using banner ads even though you know typically usually the reason why um, uh, agencies are using them is because they're seeing a much you know, higher higher ROI for them for the agency but not necessarily the best Bullshit. ROI for their advertiser so any thoughts yeah. Steven? yeah I think that's bullshit to be honest I think that they're using that because it's what's worked in the past that's why they're continuing to use it and they're not using quite the analytics and data points that they should be using to get really accurate and up-to-date information about like you know targeting people for example I mean on Facebook you can target a person down to almost on a granular level it's incredible how detailed that you can advertise using Facebook. Would you agree with that or disagree with that? I totally agree with that. And yes, there is some capabilities of doing that within uh, a uh, like a DSP, which is demand site platform, which is typically the platform you would use to serve up banner ads. And typically, again, they also integrate with some sort of third-party purchasing platform like an Axiom or an Experium that allows you to target also based on purchase information of that particular user but I feel like that information or in general like DSPs uh, you know it's really based on click data and on cookie data and so I feel like mm -hmm. Facebook not I feel like I actually see that Facebook is just a much more targeted um, platform to use yeah. if you're looking for a specific audience uh, for a number of reasons well they know you so much more intimately than yes, anybody else exactly. does. So Facebook, yeah, in terms of the definite positivities of using Facebook, and we did a show about the pros and cons of using Facebook for, for your business, is that it just has so much incredibly, uh, incredible amounts of data that, you know, for good or bad, has been uh, accumulated for each person, for each user on Facebook. So as an advertiser, you are, you know, it's very easy to use that data to target your specific audience. and. It just, it works. Like right now, Facebook is really the platform that is working. Yes, banner ads used to work, not so much anymore. The ROI is not really there and no one is really looking at your banner ads. So if you're an advertiser and you're watching this video, I would highly, highly, highly recommend taking a look at Facebook as an advertising platform 
for either whether it's e-commerce, whether it's a brick and mortar, whether it's physical products, digital products, whatever it is that you have, Facebook can be used for you know driving traffic to to restaurants, 100%. to uh, brick and mortar stores, to uh, landing pages, and you know e-commerce. So it's it's a very versatile platform and. I would really and, take a look at and, your current display advertising and do an audit on that and see if it's really working out for you. So that would be my recommendation exactly. for advertisers. And, and the greatest thing for those advertisers is that you have an option. Of course, yes, you can try and learn this stuff and start doing it differently, but there's also a slew of experts that are really good on Facebook. Uh, there's one person I know really, really well. Her name's Jean, and she happens oh, to be an really? expert when it comes to fate. Yeah, I don't think you know her, but if you did, she's she's pretty good. Yes, I would highly recommend getting in touch with a Facebook expert. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not saying you know, yeah, feel free to get in touch with me. I'm happy to walk right. you through no, I know. this process. But, but, but I'm just saying, in general, the, if you're an advertiser and you're watching this video. Really get in touch with your with a Facebook expert and, and find out and do a split test between banner ads and Facebook advertising right. and see where your split where you are testing in terms is of so ROI. important. Yeah. Yes, and you know whether right you know for the plug to Gene, but like with that aside, whether it's Gene or another expert in this field, one advantage I see of that is you've been with this industry since the beginning. I mean, for a long time, I should say. You know, you've been following this through the evolution of Facebook. It's not like, oh, you just all of a sudden became a, an expert yesterday. You've been literally doing this forever. Uh, and I just think that that kind of knowledge base, again, whether it's you or another expert, but, you know, I just see extreme value in that. Yeah. And it's actually interesting that you say that to me. So yesterday I had a call with a, with a potential client who was interested in Facebook advertising. And one of the things they said is that, yeah, they, you know, they did some Facebook advertising. And, and back maybe, I don't know, a year or two ago, it was much, just uh, much easier to get started with it. But now there's just so many features, right. so many things that they're rolling out on a regular exactly. basis that like an advertiser and, you know, no, nothing against advertisers. It's not like I'm, I'm saying, trying to say anything negative. It's just more that there's just not enough time in the day for an advertiser who is developing products, you know, doing customer service, working with their team 100%. to actually yep. also learn how to do Facebook advertising. And so it, yep. I would highly recommend getting in touch with an expert who lives and breathes this stuff every single day and works with clients and has, you know, aggregate data for Facebook and just in general has experience creating ads uh, in Facebook and, and running campaigns in Facebook. So. Yeah, I, I, they just the, the prospect I was talking to just specifically said that they're like we just don't have it's just so much more complex now that we don't have any time Correct. to really a lot to to creating these ads. So it's right. totally so anyway, understandable. Back, back to the banner ads though. I thought your last point. What else do you want to cover with the banner oh, ads? Oh, in terms of banner ads. Yeah, I mean, I, they still work a, a little bit, but again, um, you know, I think for the most part, it's there's not too many positives about banner ads. So I would highly recommend looking into other platforms, um, you know, namely Facebook, that would allow you to get a much better. Well, do you ROI. have another suggestion? Be okay. Another so suggestion about what? Well, just you know, how someone could transition as easily as possible. You know, if they're thinking about it, they're on the fence about it, you know, what would be the first one, two, three steps that an entrepreneur, small, medium, large business size owner could do to start moving away from banner ads and moving towards a more effective platform? As I mentioned earlier, the first thing I would do would be to do a split test um, or test out. So what's a you know, split very test? Similar, for, very for similar. For the people offers. that don't know what it is. Oh, so you would set up a, you would continue running, let's say, your current banner ads that you're currently running and then set up a campaign on Facebook for the same offer, same messaging, you know, same, basically the same campaign, only at different platforms, and mm -hmm. see which one is performing better. And that will give you a much better understanding, you know, is, are your Facebook ads working or are your banner ads working? The one thing to keep in mind is that, it, again, there is a learning curve with Facebook advertising. so. One thing I hear a lot is that, oh, I tried Facebook ads and that, you know, it didn't work. So again, get in touch with a, an expert or learn it on your own. But again, there's a, definitely a learning right. curve to it. So, um, but again, 
typically Facebook advertising will work if you're doing it the correct way. So that'd be my Correct. recommendation if well, you want to just get started. I thought that was really good insight. We'd love to hear what your guys' opinion is. Make sure you leave the comments below. Um, thank you so much, Gene, for putting some insight on that. Uh, you have anything else you want to add today? No, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks, Steven. Awesome. You guys have a green day. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll continue to get involved and join us as we help you find success in your entrepreneurial journey. Please follow, like, and share with others who will find this beneficial. We'll see you on the next episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes with Stephen and Gene.